figured I'd shoot just a minute or two, a couple of parts, whatever, on, on how I'm cleaning these up after the bandsaw because they leave that big burr on it. And I can't put that straight into the chuck on the lathe because it might skew it. So I've got the... Uh, I also don't want all the chips and all that stuff in with the finished one. Same reasons. I want them kind of clean. So uh, I'm using my right hand to do the grinding and stuff and then blow it off with the left hand. All right, so I cut up this many, however many that is. That's about a two and a half foot bar, with uh, you know about a two inch two inch piece left over scrap. Okay, and I got the first one in here, and it, it is kind of close, but uh, I do clear the jaws, um, and this makes it a perfect way to hold it because the first time it doesn't have to be extremely accurate, but I cut it flat, and then when I flip it over, I can push it in good and firm and cut it and get both sides really really close to parallel. Um, the, the ones that are coming off that I've already done are coming out really not they're coming out perfect they're exactly what I want basically so this is the second side and I figured I'd record this for posterity's sake because this is a 9 by 20 I'm spinning at 1400 rpms it slows down about a hundred no not even that it slows down to 1360 uh, I'm taking a ten thousandths depth of cut that is cutting at 20 inches per minute so enjoy So when I started running these parts and programming them, for what you just saw here, it was taking a good uh, 45 seconds or so. I trimmed it down a little bit because I was starting out at like 3 and 2 inches per minute. Got it up to 4 and then it was like running at 38 seconds for this, uh, the backside. It's now running at 15 seconds. Uh, the front side runs the same, if not a little faster, but it keeps counting until you hit start again. <laughs> So it, it's really hard to tell exactly where it uh, shuts off, but... Yeah, so about 12 seconds there by the time it finishes the cut. <laughs> So some of the chips are just starting to get a little color in them. So I could push it a little harder, but why? Um, I mean, man, you know, 12 seconds on one side and 15 seconds on the other side really doesn't give me time to, you know, hardly check the part and turn around and put another one in. All right, just for context, these spacers are the, the standoffs that go on the brackets here. And last time I did them with plug welds, oh, what a royal nightmare. Uh, I thought, you know, the welder, previous welder, had suggested it, and I mean, we both thought it was an awesome idea. The reality turned out that by the time you plug welded it, you ended up with a gap all the way around each end of the spacer, so I had to perimeter weld it anyway to get that sealed up so that I could have them plated. Uh, so it's like, if I'm going to perimeter weld them, I'm just going to perimeter weld them. I'm not going to deal with the plug weld. That was a royal pain in the butt. Uh, so anyway, these standoffs go in there. Now... I know that uh, that aluminum spacers either got to be changed or uh, it, it's too long. So I may try to. Uh, I'll probably just use this for tack welding. Uh, I haven't quite decided. I'll play with the the sequence for the welding and stuff like that when I get to it. 
uh, you know, but I may, I may take some kind of, you know, steel spacer and put it there, you know, a little bit taller so that that way when, uh, um, when I put the parts together, you know, I can just push this up again. So I'll probably weld the spacer to this ear and then put it on here as an assembly and I'll just have a stop there where I can just put it up against it and uh, tack the bottom and then weld it while it's out. That way I can, you know, get around a whole lot more of it. Uh, but they'll be lined up position-wise a whole lot better. So, uh, yeah, so far I am really liking... Yeah, I'm really liking it so far. They're uh, they're actually quite a bit closer than the last ones. I had to do quite a bit of grinding and finagling because uh, things weren't quite right where I wanted them. So I figured out that my jig was off a little bit. So anyway, I think that's it for now. Time to go to bed.